I'm going to make some lasagna today. It's some spinach lasagna. And there's a couple tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to put in, oh, about a half a cup of onions. And a little bit of salt. I saw this on TV. And I thought, mmm, I'm going to try it and see how it tastes. And uh, I'm going to let these onions fry up just a little bit. Well, the onions have gone about three minutes. I have the pot on medium heat. They're starting to brown just a little bit. I don't really want them to brown. I just want them to get soft and flavor the oil. There, I just added some garlic. And I have some uh, spinach here. I have a pound of spinach that I'm going to cook down. I'm going to stir that garlic around. I'm going to get all this spinach in here. Maybe not all at once, but I'm going to get it in here and wilt it. Well, the spinach has cooked for about five minutes. It's nice and wilted and soft. I'm going to take it off the heat. You want to take your spinach and, and squeeze out most of the uh, water out of it. You know, the best you can. Next, I'm going to take Two tablespoons of butter. Melt that. And two tablespoons of flour. Just cook this up very quickly here. I think I'll add a little salt. A little pepper. I really like that color. And I'm going to add two cups of milk. I'm on medium high heat here. And I'm just going to let this come to a boil. And then we'll check it. Well, this came to a boil 30 seconds ago, and I kept stirring it most of the time. But since it came to a boil, I've stirred it the, the whole time. And uh, I'm turning the heat off. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to add some nutmeg. It's an eighth of a teaspoon. And some Parmigiano Reggiano that I grated up. Half a cup. I added a half a teaspoon of uh, kosher salt to this and a fourth a teaspoon of uh, black pepper when I added the salt and pepper. Now I'm just going to uh, take this off the heat and uh, set it aside. Next I'm going to add some olive oil to my uh, skillet. A couple tablespoons on medium high heat here. We add some zucchini slices. I'm going to put some zucchini in, the, in here too, but you don't have to. You can skip this if you wish. I'm going to fry them a couple minutes on each side. Well, it has been two minutes. I sliced them a quarter inch thick, which is like three millimeters. Turning them over. I'm going to fry them another two minutes. Those look yummy. Well, it has been another two minutes. I'm going to take them and drain them on paper towel. You don't want to fry them any longer than four minutes total. 
they'll just turn to mush. But right now they're delicious. I'm going to take a little bit of salt, put a little salt on them. Let's put this thing together. Put a little bit of sauce down on the bottom. And I'm going to put noodles, lasagna noodles. I'm just going to put two of these. Uh, they're the no boil ones. You'll have to boil them first. I love these things. After cooking, they just turn out like so thin and, and like fresh pasta. One more sauce. And here's my spinach. All that cooked down to about this much. It actually cooked down to about like a 10 ounce package. So if you want to do that, you could use you know that frozen 10 ounce package of uh, spinach. Just kind of use half of it here. I'm going to add some more sauce. I'm using a half a cup or so of sauce every time. You know, don't use too much. A fourth of a cup to a half a cup. Half a cup's better. Just going to spread that out. And two more of the noodles. Lasagna noodles. Sauce. Just like that. More noodles. Now put, put the uh, the rest of the sauce on top. Have the rest of the sauce on there. And add the rest of the spinach. Spread it out. And add the zucchini. You know, this zucchini is very hard to resist eating. So, if you really want to eat some of this while you're cooking, cook another one. Slice up another one and cook it. I'm going to take my mozzarella cheese, it's only a cup, and some Romano cheese. Just mix this up a bit. That Romano cheese was a, a, a fourth of a cup. I'm going to put this on top. Put in just a, a few little fresh oregano leaves. This is optional, or you could sprinkle a little dried oregano. I love growing oregano every year. I like it better than basil. It's my favorite herb. I 
I'm going to cover this and this is going into my 375 degree oven. Well, I baked my lasagna for 40 minutes with the uh, foil on. It's looking pretty nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back into the oven without the cover for 15 minutes or so. Okay, here it is. Out of the oven. I did it for 12 minutes, not 15. Well, I have a, a piece of my lasagna here. Give it a try. Really wonderful. It's delicate and flavorful. And you have to try it. And thank you so much for watching.